All right, good afternoon, everyone. So as the governor shared, we had another strong week last week, and I'll start with a brief overview of the numbers. So we administered 79,467 doses last week, and we're projecting to administer another 68,200 this week. So that decrease doesn't reflect any diminished capacity on our end. We're consistently at or near an administration rate of about 100%, administering every dose that comes into the state. That week-over-week -week decrease is just a reflection of the fluctuations of the amount of vaccine that were allocated from the federal government. We've received 59,000 doses of vaccine this week, which includes 2,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We'll hold this vaccine refrigerated. Johnson & Johnson can be stored for up to three months, so we're able to store this until the officials at the federal level have completed their review. Now, in the grand scheme of things, 2,000 doses only represents about 3% of the vaccine that we get in an average week. However, those were 2,000 doses for 2,000 Rhode Islanders. So the team worked as hard as they could this week, beginning on Tuesday when we found out, with our partners to ensure that all of those Rhode Islanders that were scheduled for a Johnson & Johnson vaccine would be accommodated and covered with a dose of Pfizer and Moderna. So to make that happen, we had to hold back a few doses of vaccine on Tuesday which we made available this morning. Now, in the near term, we don't expect this Johnson & Johnson vaccine issue to significantly affect our projections or our ability to hit our planning targets, as the governor shared. Johnson & Johnson has had some production challenges at one of their manufacturing facilities, so we're only anticipating an allocation of about 700 doses next week. So not administering those 2,000 doses this week or the 700 next week does not impact our timeline. And as we'd outlined last week, by May 15th, we expect 70% of Rhode Islanders, age 16 and older, to have at least one dose of vaccine. By June 5th, we expect 70% of all Rhode Islanders to have at least one dose of vaccine. Monday is going to be a big day on that journey to 70%. As the governor said, on Monday, we're expanding eligibility to people 16 years of age and older, and that eligibility change will happen at 9 a.m. on vaccinateri.org. There may be a small amount of appointments still available at that time from the appointments that are released on Friday. That's about 16,000 appointments that will be released this Friday. However, a new batch of appointments will be posted on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. like they are each week. So in that new eligibility group, there are 258,000 Rhode Islanders that still need to be vaccinated. So what that means is not everyone will get an appointment that first week. But as a reminder, if you prefer, we have a pre-registration system. If you go to portal.ri.gov, you can pre-register for an appointment, and then you'll be contacted when a slot's available for you. For those of you that would prefer to call, the phone number is 844-930-1779. There will be a dose for everyone who wants to get vaccinated. We continue to thank everyone for your patience. We thank everyone who's gotten vaccinated, who's helped someone get vaccinated. You're all doing your part to keep us healthy and safe so we can continue to reopen. Now, on the theme of doing your part, I want to make one last comment. Our vaccination sites are starting to see an increase in the number of no-shows and last-minute cancellations. Now, this may be because people are getting multiple appointments and forgetting to cancel uh, because they're using an appointment at CVS and not using their appointment at a mass vaccination site. So when that happens, we lose the opportunity to offer that dose to a Rhode Islander as quickly as we possibly can. So if you cannot make it to your appointment for one reason or another, please cancel as early as possible. It really helps us to continue to make sure things run smoothly and we get shots in arms as quickly as we can. In order to cancel your appointment, you can do so from a link in your confirmation email or by calling 844-930-1779.